I made these from a 2x4. I jointed one edge, plane the other parallel, and uh, ran the two sides of the planer just to take off the rough surface. The ends were shaped with a French curve. I used this beading plane from the 1800s that cuts a, a quarter inch center bead. And the bead I applied along near the, the top edge on, on both sides. I took some pipe insulation, it's got this real dense foam, and cut a couple strips and with spray adhesive attached them to the edge that I'll be using and that will provide lots of protection. Finally I applied a couple coats of red paint with a clearer top coat. Now why did, I, why did I add this decoration on the end, beading, painting for a simple uh, shop fixture? Well in the past items like this I would have made from a 2x4 but they would have remained looking like they came from a 2x4. And um, I've just come to, to the realization that it's good to be inspired in the workshop and you should surround yourself with uh, the finer things and um, when you pick up your jigs and you know tooling and they're attractive and they look like you put care into their making I think it's just going to um, help motivate you to do to do finer work so let me show you how I use these By elevating your cabinet above your work surface, you gain total access to all edges of the cabinet, which of course is needed when you're gluing up your assemblies. And that's primarily what I use these uh, supports for. And of course I use my Workmate for most of my uh, glue ups. And uh, that's why I made these to fit specifically within the, the jaws of the table. And when I'm not using these, I just store them here. And they're nice and out of the way. Thanks for stopping by.